This morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Happy holidays. Hi. Happy holidays to you too. Love that bow tie. Cody Thank would you. love that. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. You're here answering questions for our viewers. Got some good questions in. This first one comes in from Melissa. She says, um, uh, "My ex-wife made a false police report for assault with a deadly weapon. I have the copy. It states she lied to get the police to respond faster. Can I press charges? I asked police officers. He said it's not against the law to file a false report, but I see online that it is. What can I do to make sure this doesn't happen again?" Yeah, so there's two causes of action. One is criminal. So if you remember O.J. Simpson, he was acquitted for uh, murder, mm -hmm. but then he was sued civilly. So the yes. individual uh, family member sued for wrongful death, and he uh, was hit with a $30 million judgment. So the point is, the, it's up to the police and the district attorney's office whether or not they want to prosecute, and that's at their discretion. So if they decide not to prosecute, there's not a whole lot you can do. That's them exercising the rights of the people of the state of California mm -hmm. versus the individual who may have broken the law. But you could sue for intentional infliction of emotional distress, perhaps for defamation because they said statement of fact of and concerning you that would indicate that uh, you were acting in a way that's uh, not good for your character or your reputation. And also uh, could be wrongful institution of criminal proceedings. So those would all be civil cases. The problem is, is that these are intentional acts and they're not covered by insurance. So when O.J. Simpson had a $30 million judgment against him, you know how much he paid? Zero. Zero. Oh. Because State Farm doesn't cover cutting your ex-wife's head off. Okay. Um, um, so Beverly has a question. It says, I'm being listed as creditor on my son's bankruptcy financial reorganization. Do I have to accept the terms of 30 to 50 percent of the amount borrowed as repayment? Yeah, there's Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. So Chapter 7 generally is you get to uh, wipe away all of your debt. Chapter 13, it's a repayment plan. Uh, typically, there's got to be some finality with, with bankruptcy. So ultimately, if the judge has reviewed this and looked at all of the evidence regarding the assets, then typically it's enforceable. Uh, the way that you would get around that, if you could demonstrate to the court that there's some sort of fraud, in other words, they're hiding their assets and therefore this 30 to 50 percent is not fair because there's more assets uh, to be obtained. Uh, I would definitely contact a bankruptcy attorney, just get a, get a consultation, uh, especially if there's a lot of money at stake because uh, at the end of the day, spending a little bit of money to get some direction from a bank, bankruptcy attorney probably would be in your best interest. Could help. Mm. All right. Good advice. Last question here. I live in an apartment and the people underneath me uh, have three dogs that they never take out. The dogs use pee pads in the bathroom that smell so bad in my first bathroom from them not cleaning up properly, it travels up the stairs to my apartment. <laughs> I called the landlord. They replaced all their sheetrock in their bathroom. The smell went away for a few days. But shortly after the strong smell came back, I called landlord again. They offered to move us, which I said, no, we are not the problem. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, uh, being a person that has a greyhound, a chihuahua, a Maltese, and a pig. Oh, oh. <laughs> all living in the house. <laughs> so you, you have to be very careful about how you take care of your animals, right? So what we have here is per perhaps is a nuisance, mm -hmm. which means that the smell is going from their apartment into theirs, into mm -hmm. their, the, the person that's asking the question. And ultimately, that is. Uh, affecting their quiet enjoyment of their apartment. Also, there's something called a warranty of habitability. Mm -hmm. So that means that you are basically guaranteed a place to live that is free from smells and, and free from health issues. Mm -hmm. So in this particular case, the remedy really would be to move. You could go ahead and find another place, and if, you, if it's more expensive than the place that you're staying in, the landlord would be responsible for the difference. Um, you could also sue the people that are downstairs for nuisance and probably do that in small claims. Okay. No, but, but you can't try to get the landlord to have them make <coughs> them move out. Well, the, the landlord had already offered to move them, so that would be the remedy. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So whether or not they're in violation of uh, um, some, some codes, uh, ultimately with the animals, I don't know what uh, jurisdiction this is in, but right. if I were me, I would just move. That's mm -hmm. what I would do. That would be the easiest thing. Craig Ashton, always great to see you. Nice Thanks to so see you as well. Can we just Thank go back you. to the pig? Uh, yeah. Do you have <laughs> What's a pig the name? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, How big is your pig? Uh, well, it's supposed to only get 40 pounds, which uh -oh. I think she weighs in about 150 right oh, about now. Oh, she's eating well. And, 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 and we have well. a doggy door, and when, when you hear a squeal like <laughs> a pig and eat like a pig, they're, they're tell, it's, it's true. Oh my, but, oh my gosh, what's your pig's name? <laughs> Piper. Piper. Oh, and it thinks it's a dog. Shot. It runs around with the dogs. Can we come and meet your pig? Oh, definitely. Maybe I'll. I could bring it in. No, no, we'll go to you. Oh, good. Yeah, easy. But the funny thing is that I have an orchard in the backyard, so we have apples. So it's the funniest thing to see your pig roaming around the backyard with a stereotypical apple oh, in his mouth. Oh, wow. so funny! We have to go see it. it. Yes. <laughs> and the pig gets along with the other animals. Oh, perfectly. Yeah. And the pig thinks it's a dog because thinks it's, it's a around dog. the dog. Yeah, they, oh my gosh. it runs with the dogs towards other dogs. What, which made, is you, not... what made you get a pig for a pet? Uh, my girlfriend's very persuasive. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I gotta tell you, but pigs are cool. I mean, it's really funny when you wake up in the morning, you go cluck, 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 and it's yeah, this hoof creature oh coming gosh. into your bedroom. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love we're it. Gonna, we're gonna, yes. we're, yeah, we're gonna get right Always into that. great Thanks, to see you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Happy holidays. <laughs> All right, you too. We got your information linked up on our website, goodaysacramento.com. Oh my goodness, 940.